So I've had a lot of requests over time to do a video on draft. I never got around to doing it. So I think today we'll just play a draft, see how it goes, and then just have some fun with it. Because, you know, why not? Try something different out. And uh, yeah, that's just what we're going to do. Let's get into it. Uh, keys or ore, it's obviously ore. <laughs> and let's go. Alright, Inspired Zeal is very, very strong, but we are no guarantee we're getting order cards. Earth Sign Ritual is just whatever, I think. Roots of Iz Izgith on its own gives a lot of value. This gives a lot of value. No guarantee we have synergies. Expect this. Has a high ceiling, I think. Syndicate, Philippa, Tamar, Flinders Crew. That's not. Let's get mage stuff here. I kind of go literally, but I don't think we'll. I don't know how much synergy we'll get, so I think we'll take. I think we got the most consistency just in this Skellige package here. It's the most consistent value. So we've got Skellige. We could go for a double dag or double Arnagon. That just seems really funny to me. Kind of want to pick that. Then we've got yeah, we're just picking this. This is funny. Now we really want to send with Arnagod. What can we get with him? Don't have much here. Although Harmony will trigger from our guys. You will learn that if you're playing Nilfgaard with Assimilate. Shani doesn't- we don't have a Shani target right now. Vincent has a really high ceiling. I think we'll take... <laughs> one Renfries gang. Um, we're not taking that. Let's grab this one. So we've got Tin Boy, a Sculptor, and a Ringle. We don't have the coins for you. Drog could be good. Rune Word could be good. Blue Stripe Scouts, just a whatever. Uh, Caretaker, useful. Triangle and a Triangle is a solid removal. We're kind of lacking in that, although we do have Dagger. We could also buff Dagger back up with a Triangle. And Sangrael, we don't have a way to purify other than Caretaker. The Scouts are really keeping me back from picking this one. I think we'll take this. Got Stefan. I don't have tactics. I'm not really looking at this one. Uh, Garanther Golden Child is basically a dead card, so that's not good. Do we have mages? Not really. Do we have soldiers? Not really. Um. This, the say synthesis blaze. We don't really have good damage for. I. I. I don't know if this will get value either. Um. I think we just take this one. Except the blaze not being great. Bloody Baron. We have inspired zeal, so that's one target. Another well, golden child, but we've got no frost or anything here. I think we take this one. Combi, I love myself some combi. Um, Shoop stay off. We can't. We have two Arnagods. Amuna. Don't have double copies of anything. Do you have a raid? No. Hmm. I think this is the best, but again, we don't have a raid. Dagger, Holgar, and Herald. This is a pretty solid package here. Take this. Come on, give me some raids, boys. Raids and Frost. Alright, what we got? Coins? Alright, we'll take this one. Alright, well, uh, we've got a deck. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting deck. Um, our weaknesses here are the Synthesis Blaze, although Arnagod Round 2 could make that pretty good. I'm mostly concerned about our Golden Child being a dead card and Vabuorn being a dead card. Don't make me laugh. Let's see what we've got here. Force of Nature is a pretty solid leader. Our leader we only have one target for, really. Well, two. We can Inspire Zeal the Pikeman for its boost. I guess we could do this one. This is a dead card. We don't want that in our hand. We don't have a way to discard you. So that's a bit of a pain. It's probably low value then. Oh no, we have combi. 
figure out a way to combi. We want him back now. Oh, we don't want to play that. All right, so what do we want to do here? We've got this engineering solution plus Arnagod, which is why we picked this. It's hilarious. We'll just start off with Herald. I really want to hold this for the Arnagod. It's super greedy, but it'll be funny if it works. This just because of setup, like we can do this into two damage and then, okay, well, two damage no longer does anything. So, um, we won't be doing that anymore. Hang this to three, that heals it. That's not great. Let's play this. It's a soldier. We'd like to set up crew for the, um... Pride. Obviously, we don't have a second soldier. Okay, there's a blue boy Lugos. Yeah, he's just hard countering us right now. This is a pretty good value, though. I guess not really value, because we don't want to hit this again. We could go caretaker. Go dagger. I think we just go dagger. We need to develop at least a few points. Man, he just has the hard counter. Uh, I guess we can't risk hitting that one then. Don't have a soldier. Adrenaline 4. What we can do though is make a copy of this. We can take it down to take it down easily with Harold. So we'll make that. I didn't realize the turn timer was shorter in draft. That's interesting. Well, he kills off our dagger. That's um pretty bad for us. Currently a coward? Hitting this is not great, but if he swaps with us, we can then swap back. It's not the worst thing. Next turn we'll go Arnagod plus the um engineering thing. That'll be fun. Ooh, last wish. Could be anything. Trig V. Well, we're gonna have to engineering solution something else, I think. See, it blocks all that damage. We'll play you. I'll play you. You want to see a real sword? <laughs> Give you the shield. Obviously, you can swap with Udalric, but you know, we can swap some with one of his guys. Could have also done the Purify Caretaker there. I want to get Arnagod to kill some guys. We are playing a Safe Synthesis Blaze, which it looks like is going to play for like two points. All right, we get the round. That's something. I like a normal game. We don't really know what he's playing or what we should be pushing for. So take some of the strategy out of it here. Uh, well, like we could play this to bleed, but there's no reason. You bring back a bronze human. I don't think we have one. Oh, we do. We've got you. Means we could combo with Agent, maybe. We want to find... Yeah, we want to find him. Okay. Now we got something. We've got something, at least. Uh, let's bring back our guy. Seven limbs, uh, blood, blood, blood. 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 His leader's better than ours, so we'll... Better than ours. Let's see if we can get rid of it. We got one combo here, which is this. Well, combi and this, and we've got caretaker Sangreal. We've got two decent combos here. 
Then we've got, um, oh, he just got a big card. Uh, that's not great. We're not gonna get crew on this, so I think we just play it now. Debating if we want to play Arnagod here. We need to play Sangriel because we want to get this discarded. We want to play this and this, right? So this has to be played, which means we have to play this too. At that point, we're playing pretty much everything in our hand. The deck is sort of lacking good plays outside of the Arnagod, though. Uh, he just banished our Shanny. That's rude. Do you have zeal? Yeah, you do. Just do this. They'll play Caretaker. Obviously, you want to combi when they have, like, less cards in their hand, because they're better. Ideally, if they have just one, but we're not going to get that set up here. We want to fire the, um, Foltus Pride again. So, no... Non-dwarf units. They're all dwarves or all specials. Interesting. I wonder for our opponents here, how often we'll go up against people who just reset their deck. I don't know if you can do that anymore, actually. Now we'll play Arnagon. Potentially. I, I think we want to save him for round three, though. Then again, if we play him now, the higher chance we get something good with the combi. Oh, a Beauclair. Oh, that hurts. Oh, you hate to see it. Do we have anything that boosts? I think we're gonna lose this, guys. Do we have to play a card here? I think we'll go. We'll 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 play him. Your body is stronger than your steel. We need him to use the art. We need him to use the Beauclair order. I think. Okay. So these are just removal spells in his hand? Do we combi now or later? I think we have to... Well, if we do it now, we can fire this. It's four. This place for nine. doesn't really do anything. We have the Arnagod, but I think it's safer just to pass. I think... Pretty sure we've lost this one. Maybe this won't. Well, this will. This will find value if we use this to boost. If we don't play anything big, uh, can we do something with dagger? We don't really have any damage cards, so dagger is actually kind of a brick here. We can always reset our leader charges too, which is a pain. I believe the token is a zero provision. So we can't triangle it, triangle it. Guaranteed value. You know, maybe he's got some brick cards too. Oh, he's got a real decree. It's not bad. I just don't see how we get value enough to beat him here. This is leader beats our leader by three. This is a seven. This is probably just for, this probably does like seven or eight. This is a nine value play. I just don't think we have points. We have to play this this turn, and he'll just reset it. We have to hit Darren, then. Compass. The 
this has to be played this turn. There's no way we can win. Unless he has some bricks like we do. I mean, that's not great. But he needs, like, complete bricks. Get Madman Lugos, I think. Could have been better. I don't really want him uh, taking our damage. Well, he needs nothing because his leader wins the game here. Was the sword anyway? This is about what I expected from draft, to be honest. Although I kind of thought we might get a bit better synergy than we have. Alright, we need... something. Alright, let's be real though. Uh, it doesn't matter what else. We can play Prophet Liboigia and um, Arnegod. I just want to make that happen. What else? Remove package. Okay, please let me get rid of this one. Thank you. Alright, let's go. When I said this one, I meant the, um, say synthesis blaze one. That was, uh, not very useful. Fabiorn's still not useful, but, you know, not much I can do about that. Decision Strike, a more useful leader than ours, although maybe he doesn't have the Dryads in his deck. Maybe he has 20 Dryads in his deck. We just don't know. We got one combo here, that's nice. Uh, we've got this and the shield thing, which is nice. This is a risky card, but we've got Blessing, so I guess it's not the worst thing. And you're just a brick. You plus Arnegod is what we want to play. Uh, let's see, I do want to use you. This looks pretty solid overall. I'm missing our Morkvarg, but... I don't want to discard these. Let's just begin with... Where did he go? With Thaler. Who takes an in no one. I don't think he'll kill it. It doesn't really benefit. It benefits us both equally in this case. The ping damage is bad because Botchling just transforms, right? So this isn't very useful. Let's just play this guy. Then the Sov off of that, naturally. Do I care if this dies? No. Zerk 3. Do Sangriel, and we've got Caretaker. I think we just drop this on him. He's not going to want to put damage into it, or removal into it. Help stop the Bloodthirst triggering, or Berserk, I mean. I don't hate it. Okay, I think at this point we do go for the dagger. He's gonna ping, ping his own guys, probably. One hit on his own guys. We don't really want that Sov carrying over, let's be honest. Pitch. 
And at this point, we definitely have to go in with our caretaker. Let's remove that. We don't want to take 12 damage and have him die. Next turn, we're going to Arnagod plus the shield. Obviously, he has ping charges on his leader, so it's not that great. But, you know, we should try it. Hopefully, we can Laboid you the other one. Okay, that's scary. Bit scary. Just don't hit the, the Transform guy. It's fine. And we'll play you. I'm a shield. Alright, that gets us the round. But he has carryover on the circle. That carryover on the circle is scary. It'll come out... You can't get it round two, right? On its own. It doesn't have as too many turns. And I can't carry over to round three. So I think the correct thing is to pass this round. So we have to deal with the stove coming out. Uh, our hand, though, for that, that we need to redraw. This isn't the best card. That's fine. Probably as good as we're getting. If we don't draw more card, we just get rid of combi, I think. Brothers, we charge on three. We do need another Arna God, though. There he is. The only thing we're missing here is our Morkvarg. Decent chance we get him. That was worth a try. Defender. Uh, you hate to see it. What do we open with here? I think we just do this. Good value. Okay, well, uh, that is a problem. This doesn't really do any engine value because it's in the deck. Alrighty, I see how this is going. Give him shield when he's got that veil. Yeah, let's do it. Bastard. You clever, clever bastard. Alright. This is not going to happen, is it? Alright, black hand. We got to ping the shield. Eh, who cares? We have to combi. Thinking of what we discard. We should have kept this discard with combi. Wasn't thinking. I mean, it doesn't matter in any way. <laughs> what are we going to do against this? Maybe Arnagod with the Boyja can do something, but I really doubt it. Ah, Rian. Taking out our guy. Taking out another guy. Well, our only chance is that every card he plays for the rest of the game dies now. Unfortunately, it set us to four with um, Rian's. That won't work, but, you know, worth a try. He's gonna die. Oh, good thing you played that. But it doesn't matter, right?
We're gonna discard Fulta's pride, I think. <laughs> we should inspire Zeldis. So we get the bleeding tick. Yeah, well, um, guess we just didn't have a chance in this round three at all. So that's unfortunate. We used to have no synergy in the deck we were given, unfortunately. These don't have synergies with us. Uh, Colgrim, we don't thin, really. This isn't really good. This isn't good. This isn't good. None of these really help. We have no inbuilt synergies in our deck is the problem. Guess we pick this because it's the least bad. At least as a lock. Yeah, this is the one we just picked. It's the those other ones are better. Assimilate. Interesting. The eternal fire uh, it's probably one of the better leaders way. for this, I would guess. We can do Redain Agent early. That's pretty cool. Man, I wish we could get rid of that guy. Cultist. Well, hopefully he doesn't have the scenario. Because the scenario, uh, he got an automatic win, I guess. Let's just do this. It's our only real engine, and let's just get some round three tempo. Although, boosting Arnagod's pretty nice, too, to be honest. Let's just boost one of them. for traitors. Didn't have one in his hand. Alright. So we're looking at the same amount of synergies in our deck I see here. I like it. Let's go with Black Hand. Pardon me, a coward. I'd like to try and set up Bloodthirst for Donar if we can. We'll hold Hound Snoot because he's one of our better cards, unironically. I'll try and play Ulfulta's Pride in like a longer round. Okay, I don't like that. Oh, he's playing Devotion? Oh, okay. Uh, we might have a problem then. So, now we play Fulta's Pride though. That means he's got a lot of potential value here with Spines. We could just kill that with Donar and get the round, which I think is worth it. I don't know if you ever see this card played right now. We're head on even. I want to maintain that. Yeah, we can just this. I think he's gonna have a bunch of these disloyal cards. I think a longer round benefits us because of Volta's Pride. This is one of our better tempo cards. Oh, he has a Kraken. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. Shanny's quite nice, though. I think we just put the three skulls in this row and let him trigger him for us with the storm. What is it? 
Surprised he didn't hit the Kraken. I think we're going to win this one, the game, and the round here, which is nice. Can't play this right now. Let's play a dagger. I'd rather have this for the tempo. We don't do that much damage. There's the C's. I think we pass next turn regardless. Who on the Kraken? Okay, that's um bad. We might just lose the round normally now. We can hit the Kraken, right? Yeah, this round's over. All right, he got us. Thought we had a chance there. We were wrong. Coo Kraken. Seems pretty good. But he did use his leader charge. Now, oh, can we stop drawing you? I really wish we'd get this thing out of our deck. Get out of here, Vabjorn. All right, we got a combo there. Got a play. That's not too bad here. This looks all right. And he's going to pass. I think we just play this. Just open Shanny because she has time to cool down. And we just have some value stuff. And okay, Vabjorn. Dude, let's, let's not here. Let's not. Morkvarg is nice. We got we got something. We're cooking here. Cooking something. Got this discard on this. Got shields on our guys. Still open with you though. I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I prescribe something. What do we have here? The boost does not matter anyway. God Florence, eh? In any way, I should say. Shani only, I say Shani only works if he kills that. We don't have another bronze unit, but before I can even say it, he did kill it. Let's play our Prophet. This one's melee locked, right? So melee is the correct spot. Okay, now we can't use Shani again because he took our guy. What a jerk. Let's play you. Dark is my ally. Dark I thought this guy was playing Devotion. Devotion's just not neutral, right? Yeah, not neutral, so it can be the other factions. We could just r rip Combi now, but that would be uh, not great. I think we throw this one. Pretty decent value there on the um, Vincent. Cave troll. Yeah, it's a good thing we threw him there. Now we begin the Arna God and hope he doesn't kill him. Let's go. This is a discount sucrose combo. A real discount, because it's a one turn shield. And he has a bow player. Well, that is uh Suboptimal since we're playing Sangrael. We have Last Say, but Last Say's combi. I think we have to discard Sangrael then. We cannot let him. Well, I guess you just reset it, right? I don't think we can play Sangrael. Unless he uses the reset early. Well, he's dead. Nice one, Arnagod. We could, we could Sangrael the Arnagon, because it did take some damage, so him resetting it's not the worst thing ever. Good. It's not the worst. That seems reasonable. Obviously he's just going to reset it, but... 
So it gets a net plus three that way. Pricing reset there. Pretty sure we just combi. Like it's, it's, it's just combi. We have more Vargan combi. We do it. What do we hit? We'll leave this. All right, we got to win. We'll take it. I was hoping we wouldn't go 0-3. But, uh, you know. Pulled something off there. All right. Uh, can we get some synergies? No bleedings in our deck. Except for Bloody Baron. We could go, like, round one Bloody Baron. Just hope the bleeding makes the Regus do something. Kira. We don't have any bronze spells. I think Freya's... Because Freya's Blessing's in Alchemy. This doesn't do anything. And Jock's Miracle Child is a tempo play. Making this the best choice. What do we want to remove? Uh, not the... Bro, give me the one with, uh, what's his face in it? Fabjorn. We don't like him. These are all good ones. Um, like this one's good. This one's good. I mean, this one's good, too. These are our good packages, game. Come on. But if we have to pick one to get rid of... Uh, this has got some mid-range stuff. Ah, uh, this one. What does this give us? This gives us Shanty Tempo. Vincent Tempo and a bronze with engine potential. Dagger's engine doesn't work great with us. Holgar and Harald are decent cards. He has a bit of damage, a bit of pings. Baron is a good tempo. I guess we get rid of this one. I like them all, though. These are our good packages. Feels bad to get rid of one of them. Can we just not pick this one, then? Why isn't this allowed? I feel like I have to click something. One second. Okay, well, that would let us do it. Dima Sai, 1984. Okay, Shield Wall. Also, probably a decent leader. Part of the reason we kept Bloody Baron is our only, really our only synergy with our leader. Um, let's see here. Morkvar Combi. You know, we got it in our opener. Love to see it. This is decent with Shanny, so I think we'll hold on to it. You're like one of our worst cards. You're one of our best early game cards. You have to transform. This is... Oh my goodness, I saw him. Let's go. Take it. All right, let's just go with you. Yeah, this is our only engine, our only order cards. Bastard. Might as well just start boosting the other Arnagot in case we actually draw him. Bastard. We got one in our hand, so that's cool. Is that a... It sure was. We've got a um, Sunset Wanderers over there. It's a failure. Oh, so you've thought about this. Might be worth trying to start the Sunset Wanderers with Combi. That's good value. And Isbel. Um. Well, that's really scary. Do we use Thaler now or later? It's just a 50 50 RNG. Uh, let's just do it. Let's do it now. Okay, that was the wrong choice. Death Mold doesn't give us much. Let's just examine our deck. Please give him the Vabjorn. We've drawn him enough that we deserve it. At least in my opinion. Don't know what he took, honestly. I just looked and I just still can't remember. This is a good card, though, so he must have taken something nice. I don't know what it was. Death Mold's kind of bad. But it is an order, so might as well throw it out. Bleeding Engine right there. Just 
just do that. It is good value. I don't think we're hitting Sunset Wanderers with our combi, by the way. Don't think so. Purify a row. My son. Let's leave this side. Okay. Calm yourselves. Let's see here. Oh, there's a sword and it's killing something. Okay, that, that could be worse. And also quite a bit better. We're getting dueled. He might have a duel. Duel would really be bad for us. Very bad. I think we play this. Let me play this here. Just because of dual potential. Alright, we're fine here. So we want to get Sunset Wanders out of his hand next round. We want to trigger the Vanagris Blade next round. We just want to get these gone. These tempo plays. We're never triggering this. It's just a four, so that's not good. This hand we can work with, but we'd want to redraw still if we can. Alright, what are we looking at here? Could just go in. Let's just go in. Like I said, we want to get rid of some stuff. Do want to get rid of some things. Okay, well, hopefully he doesn't have any synergies with that. But we do have a Bloody Baron, if he does. Not all seeds deserve to be absolved. Whirl of Wind, that's a pretty cool synergy. I dig it. I think we just hit the... Well, I think we just hit the War Elephant. Makes a lot of sense here. It'll trigger this value. I mean, like a 12. Yalmar, okay. Unfortunate. We play our Arnagad. We have the other one, right? Let's play him. We must do life alone. Get used to it. We have one charge for Baron. The other one's bigger. Nothing else needs zeal, so we'll just give him a plus two. I'm feeling it. Hopefully, there's no one says. Okay. All right. Do we want to play our tempo cards here? The sword is gone. Sunset Wanderer is gone. That's what we got. That's what we wanted. He has a zeal. Could be a Selkirk. Could be scary. I think we do want to go for this. Should have played Buddy Baron for the zeal order. Set this for bleeding. If there's only one bleeding, we can do it whenever. I want to do this this round, I think. Or just hold them. The scary thing is we don't have good cards left. Other than the second Arnagod. I think a short round would benefit us, because we just get the other Arnagod. Be a Shanty. Okay, why does everyone have Beauclair? Is there, is there something going on here? I don't get it. We'll do our reset first. We could try and block the bleeding with a shield, so the bleeding's good. Caretaker, okay. He's gone. Good work, Arnagod. Bleeding will do something there, then. 
All right, so here's the question. Do we play the combi Morkvarg? I think the answer is yes, because I want to. All right, let's, let's just do it. What we got? We hit a Gaten. Pretty decent. might have a shot here. His reset's no good. It's like three points. Oh, he's got it. He does have to lead her, though. Just one. No, it would have just one if you put it on this guy. It would have blocked the one point of bleeding, but... Actually, no, maybe you still needed two. Yeah, counted wrong there. That's pretty good for us, though. He's down to one leader charge. Use this. Our best card now is, like, Shanny and our other Arna God who we've got. Okay. We had a really small deck count, so... Okay, that makes this pretty bad. Both is pride, unfortunately. The question is, do we just go in with Arna God here? I think the answer is yes. You know how this will end. Oh no, does he have a good card? Don't have a good card. This counters both the dual cards. He has a lot. Feels bad. Now we have the pirate, right? So that's a pretty good shanty, last say. The 13 point play. We might have this one. Nice, we do. We'll take it. All right. Oh, thank goodness. We see something good. Prince on says, come on, come on, join the deck. They're never taking anything else here. Remove package. Where's the Vabjorn package? That's the one I want to remove. Shanny's good. Vincent's pretty good. We're keeping this. Ah, oh, do we get rid? Yeah, this one's probably good. It, it, it feels bad to get rid of our Prophet Leboja, but Death Mold's not that great. To be honest, I don't really know how this works. We just get seven total games. So I know, like in Elder Scrolls Legends, it's. In you either get three losses or seven wins. This is just seven total games instead. By the way, Elder Scrolls Legends Arena. I really love it. <laughs> Might have something to do with this always getting seven wins in there, but, you know. Really enjoy that one. Haven't tried out a draft since they remade it. I, I, I think I did, actually. Like, when they first did the draft rework, I tried it out. I don't think I've played it since then. But you guys requested it, so we're doing it. Reckless Flurry. Okay, we don't really have engines or any real synergies, so I don't care that much. This is decent value later in the game, though. You're when played or someone from the deck. We do not have a way to do that. Uh, we just don't have coins, so you're no good. You're not good. All right. What are we working with here, buddy? Don Vanyek. Havko, that's a really good card here because we cannot do anything about it. Well, actually, we could Vincent and then ping it with Donar. Is that worth doing? I think it is. Otherwise, it just carries the round too much. And yes, I'm just ignoring Vabjorn. Chenning doesn't exist. Ping him down with this. really don't have good plays here. Let's play this, because Shanny bringing it back is a decent option later. Me, 
Is this still eight provisions or nine? It's still nine. She needs like three buffs. At least, well, she needs some buffs. Really wish the um, conditional four damage cards in all the factions were viable. I just kind of like those. Being options for the factions to have, that is. You got Toad Prince, the conditional monsters, one less playable, and that's about it. Is he just passing here? Well, that feels bad. Uh, let's see, you're a seven, right? So this just gets us to 16. Okay. Interesting. I'm very happy with him passing. Our hand does not continue playing here. So him letting us get the round win is quite good. Um, without... Without Caretaker, this doesn't do anything. I think we just use a leader here. I think a better on Seis is better than having an extra leader charge leader. Well, it's, it's similar. This has Veil, buddy. I guess he doesn't care about the Veil. Set up pikemen, and then we'll play... Ah, uh, should I play put it here? I always read about this death blow, but I mean, let's be real, we're not death blowing anything. Once you get to two to make this a five, that's as good as dagger's gonna be. <laughs> He's gonna... He just missed both. Oh, he just clears our board a double leader. I'm... I'm... We'll be very happy with that. Uh, do we keep pushing, then? We'll play this, because it doesn't do anything anymore. That is interesting. We've got Reviving Redanian Guy as an option. Do we bleed him here? Our hand is good, so bleeding him is not great. The only thing we could do is throw the combi combo. Let's hope for the best. Passing's the right choice here. We got two leaders out of him that round. That's worth it. Now, we would love to draw on Sace. Are we just drawing everything I ask for? Um, give me the other Arnagod. No, no, the other Arnagod, I said. <laughs> Is this how it came supposed to work? We just announce the cards we want. Normally, we draw terrible. Well, under recording, at least. I draw pretty good hands otherwise. Alright, what do we got here? Two discards. Into one skirmisher. All right, that's whatever. Shani has time for her ability to come into play here. I think we just grab. Let's grab this guy. Most points. He kills it. I don't care that much. This is one, it's one less or one more point here. And this, and he could cool her down theoretically, but we're not going to do that. But we have some good damage at the end of the round. Double Arnagod on Sace. Okay, that, that's a good card, though. At least it doesn't have armor. We do need to play this sooner rather than later. What are we inspired dealing? We could just do two on on Sace to make him bigger, so I think we hold off on it. We don't care too much if Shandy dies. Lore-wise, we would, but in the game, no. Plus, the more damage things we've got, the better Arna got us. We have the random. Nice, she lived. Here we drop Jacques. One of our better tempo cards. Let me just go Arnagod, Arnagod, on Sace, and hope we hit him with combi. Volt and Warrior is a really good tempo card, too, though. A so, well, let's just hope he cannot kill that. Because the fact that his big card is immune means our whole strategy no longer works.
Oh, he's got two Zoltan Warriors. Well, that's GG. Should put this one first, so it figures before that one. Because of the armor. This is our last play. So this is the Ansei's turn. And we could hold this. Oh, we'll hold it. It's risky to hold it, but we need a high roll here. We like some really good outcome to have a chance to win the game. So here, I mean, there's nothing else for it, right? Most we can do is kill this. Then we just hope whatever he played, uh, whatever we discard here is his good card. We hit a Aglace. That's probably not that good for us. We only had one boost on it, I think. Oh, nice. A zero temp. Oh, my goodness. A negative tempo card. Well, I guess that's an equal because he got rid of one of ours, but we do take a win there. Um, close one. That second Zoltan Warrior in the Sov made me really nervous. All right. Can we get... Let's, let's find some synergies, guys. Synergies. Invocation is good. Caterveen is bad. Well, I guess we could make a copy. That's not the worst. Enrico. Oh, we could work with this. Uh, Tridum, War Elephant, Marine. We could work with that, too. I think I like this one better just because of the removal. Maybe we can actually get a good card in our deck by um, copying their good cards. Carlo. I like Carlo. Adarin we have no synergy with. Merchant. It's consistency. You know, this isn't bad here, actually. These are too conditional. Ah, this has removal, though. No synergy with this. This is no devotion. So it's not this package. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Fabjorn. Yes, yes, get him out of here. I don't care if we lose our combi. Let's get the Vapjorn out of here. So excited about that. I don't think the combi's really doing too much for us, honestly. It's just funny. It also means Morkvarg's really trash now, but I don't care that much. Just great. Blood Scent, high value leader. Just for the amount of points in the leader. Looking at our hand. We like our Sangrael. Okay, that's a lot of gold cards. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's good here. A Johnny. Good grief. You're worse than Joker. Interesting. You're when you play special, right? I mean, there's no guarantee he even has specials. Let's just hit it with Donar. If he boosts it with Crystal Skull, we can Invocation it. Or, um, Triangle it. If he doesn't protect it, it probably means he doesn't have specials. Yeah, he doesn't have specials. Do we want a copy of this guy? I kind of do, because that would give us two soldiers for Fultus Pride, which is probably worth it, in my opinion. Our best round one, then. Do 
Torres, okay. Well, we lost, we gave him an on safe, so there's no way he didn't pick that. Oh my goodness, he didn't pick Prince on safe. He picked Rico, Art of God, and Urchins. Really wish we could Torres that guy. Or uh, indication the Torres, but he's got doomed. Let's give us a decent triangle and a triangle, though. Put a range. Yeah, good boy. I like it. The only problem is if we actually, if we move, okay, this turn we won't move. This is the highest enemy, right? Yeah, so this turn we won't get the movement to mess our stuff up. We didn't want this to hit this and mess up our crew. Got some good options here. Invocation and Bloody, Bloody Baron in particular is really good here. Okay. He's gonna move our guy, that's whatever. We don't have... You know what we could do? And we're going to do is we're gonna purify this so we can coup it, because I just really want it. It's our, would, would be our best tempo card. We lost this round. Even if we don't, it's still one of our best tempo cards. It's Johnny's doing stuff here. Can't, not gonna lie. Thank you. Bloody Baron's still really good, although we don't get the bleeding. A trap. Interesting. I don't think we need to leader the Baron. This trap must not go off then. Let's not go up unless we play a unit, I meant. Otherwise, he wouldn't put the bleeding out. Got a decent Vincent on that guy now. He needs to lead her again. Actually, he needs to lead her two more times. How do I feel about a draw? Right, because right now if we pass, it's a draw. In that case, where you draw up a card, that's worth it. It's almost never not worth it. That's really nice. All right, we'll take the draw. Because we also know we have a Torres on top of our deck, which is just going to spawn a card, which is nice. I like this. The only thing that can make it better is we draw on Sace. Ooh, Blessing works at least, right? Yeah, it's at least online. Actually, it's pretty good on the um, night. Probably open with that. Uh, let's see. thing is, th this will trigger on that, so we have to open with him. What do we want to play here? Again. I'll take you. you, wouldn't want to hurt us, would you? That's the potential to like, answer a poison. Need to play a poison there. If he had a second poison, he probably would have played it that round. Bruiser's one more point, but I like the ability to play around a poison or something. My old I don't remember. I don't care. You just get power, right? Just get the power. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. And we go Arnagod. I think we give him a boost. Ooh, War Elephant. Um, I 
Killing the war elephant's probably good. The thing is, it's also decent Rico. No, I think it's correct to just hit it with this. Could eat this to get rid of the bleeding. But its own value will get rid of the bleeding for now, so let's not. Another trap. I wonder what that is. That's that's actually good. It means we can still play our Rico. We'll play Arnegod for his last card only. Or do we play the Arnegod now? We play the Rico. I just don't want to play the Arnegod into a trap. And it's not like it's not like he's gonna kill two things anyway. Now we can consume that one. That's good. This didn't go off. I wonder if it's the. Uh, we should play around. I was thinking we could play around Crush. Or, um, this is smaller. Let's just. Just do this. Should be good, I think. I think we can kill whatever this is. It's E Horaquax. Pulling a soap. That's scary. What's the trap? That's what we were scared of, but we did get it. I was worried that this would die, but he was a six, so it's fine. We don't even have to play anything here. Let's take it. Not bad at all. So we have one more game left. Let's see if we can end this on a win. We started off 0-2, so if we can pull this out. Okay, we're not picking Eternal Eclipse. That's not going to happen. This, though, this is looking nice. Yeah. Consistency cards, removal. What are we removing? <laughs> we could just remove the one we just picked. Um, I like Shani and I like Vincent, so we're keeping this one. Caretanker, Triangle, and Sangrael. Caretaker, Sangrael combo's nice, and Triangle's good removal. Do we just take this one out? I like the consistency. This combo isn't good otherwise. Which is basically means we're picking this for the triangle. I don't think it's worth it for that. Plus the Triss boosts the Arnagod when she searches him. That's nice too. Alright, going up against monsters. can't give this guy zeal, because you can't zeal with Inspired Zeal on neutrals. Probably for good reason. I'd have liked to have Francis. It's because he's funny, but he doesn't work well with Rico. Because he does a set. Probably means we want to Rico this round. And again, Dagger doesn't really do anything for us. We could shuffle back Rico to draw Francis off of Triss. That could do something, because we're pretty close to actually getting a whole bunch of buffs that way. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Get... Where is he? We're just talking about him. Get out of here. We'll take... you. Alright, I was hoping the trap would go off. This has a lot of potential. A lot of potential. The only problem is the collar. So what I kind of want to do is play Ike and see if he collars it. Plus that way. <laughs> can have the Francis hit something else. Actually, we can throw Dagger. Dagger might bait the collar. Or is it some discard? Discard of Filippo. Maybe he can't play it. Ludifisk, give me some of that. Yeah, lock it, boy. Let's go. Lock. Lock it. It's scary. Let me play with Francis. Okay, three. That means no Zoltans. No double Zoltan warrior in this guy's deck. Thank goodness. Um, Can we lock this, buddy? Let's go. Please. We're going to throw our leader. 
That's a little weird. Not gonna lie. Didn't lock it. What's the trap? Didn't go off. So it could be the spawn, the guys one. It could be the horn. It could be serpent. Serpent we don't care about. Play this guy. It threatens killing the woodland spirit. So maybe he will hit it with the collar. It's never going off without the zeal, but this looks like a pretty good value chance for it. I think we'll take it here. The collar is not that big a deal, just Ike will never get zeal, so trying him here, I don't mind too much. So I think this trap might be dead. If it doesn't go off this turn, it might be dead. It's probably the um, dead card then. Look, could be horn. Are we just discarding cards here, buddy? What are we doing? Regis. All right, that does it. He missed. Okay. Well, I mean, he he's successfully avoiding my plan of uh, playing Francis. But I don't think it's a good way. He's not playing units next to this, so this has to be Serpent Trap. We've got a one power card now, so it's a terrible Serpent Trap. We don't have a special in our hand. Can't be anything else, I don't think. We've even played to stick situation at this point. Okay. No, it's still bad. It's still a bad Serpent Trap. I think we should play the Francis. It's got value. It's got value. It's got carryover. Nice. We hit the Onsays. Love to see it. Come on. At this point, you have to collar the guy. He's holding the collar for next game. I do think we go in with Arnagod here. If he like gets ahead us. Oh. Can't talk. If he gets ahead of us on template, though, I should play the Revenant. Are oh, we just discarding? I mean, this is going to be the last game, I guess. Oh, we played a card. Fabian. Ready? We don't want this getting hand buffs. I'm going to play him. This could be Mahakam Horn. He's playing things next to it now. Then we have to worry about the eight points. If he has, like, a fee spender, he can't. I guess Caller would kill us. No, I don't think so. He doesn't have enough coins. The Dark Mirror, plus Collar. No plus Collar. I, I don't know what's going on here. Let's throw an armor god. Oh, He's no got four armor. We're doing pretty well here. Kind of unfortunate this is our last game, but... You know, we, we played some games like this ourselves, where nothing worked together. Okay, there's the lock. We do block the three damage, so that's still good value. I think that's Horn. Uh, if it's Horn and it flips, he wins. So I think we play a card here. Do we mind playing the second Arnagot? I kind of just want to play Bloody... No, we just play him. This gets the Bloody Baird in uh, Zeal. If you play it, Formation Melee, too. From the Francis. Alright, we'll take it. Win uneven. Flip the horn over. See if you read this right. No, it was Serpent Trap, so we didn't have to do anything. All right. He baited us into thinking it was Horn, which was smart by him. But, um, yeah, it was just a Serpent Trap. We're still in the great spot, though. I think we push here, just because our short round of Anseis... Well, wait, don't push. We bleed. Because Anseis and Baron are just so strong. Round three, that we just play those round three. And consider ourselves very happy. I should win a round three. I would imagine. So we just play this other trash in our hand. You never know, maybe he opens a good card, we get a good Caterpine.
I guess we just Caterving whatever his next card is. Or we, no, we probably Voltus Pride waste the side damage. I think possibly a better card off Caterving is better than a um, extra paying on the Voltus Pride for an adjacent unit. So you just play him different rows anyway. Ooh, give me another card to bleed with. Yes, please. Oh, yes. This is uh, exactly what we want to do, actually. Now he has another good card in his hand you might have to play. With a bad card in your hand to bleed with. This is not an ideal time to play Mata. Unless the rest of his hand's bad. I would have not played Mata there. Alright, he's got a, he's got one of them. That's pretty good. I think we just do this, though. Obviously, they're not soldiers, but whatever. We're going to play this card. And hold these for round three. Take our last say and be good. We should win this. Unless he's got crazy cards left for round three. I think our situation here is looking very good. Uh, that's interesting. That's interesting, because we could make use of that. We're, obviously, we are still playing Caterpie in here. I'm just thinking, we could actually use her if you want to keep playing. Let's see what his next card is. There's no boosts on his units. It's just for us, we could have boosts, right? Because these guys will have boosts from the hand, and we have these could spread boosts around, like give her inspired too. We just wait till she's at one timer and go for that. We hit 2 0 here. I'm pretty sure we can 2 0. Just have to be careful about how we want to do it. I don't think. The Unsays is our best short round card. I think we play the Unsays here. I think we do this. I think we win. She gives us like plus three. Just going in for the 2 L. Three sets worth nothing. So we just, oh, it's not worth nothing. We have three on that. Okay, we'll do this. I think we go for it. I think we're good. Boost you. Boost you. She goes off for a bunch of extra points. I think we're good. Yeah, she's on inspired boost all her guys. That's nice. And an R gate for zero. All right. Well, um, here we go. That was our arena draft for you guys. I think there's just seven games. I think. We'll check. Rewards. Alright, so that's the arena draft for you guys. We got five wins after going 0-2 at the start, so you'd love to see it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had a bit of fun with this. A uh, draft is kind of, it's just weird. It's, it takes away one of the aspects of Gwent, right? Like, in other card games, I'm just gonna go on a little rant here. In other card games, you usually have systems, right? Like, you have mana and, like, Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering, those type of games. And the mana is a lot of how you manage your deck and resources. You also have cards, obviously, in all the games. And something like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Master Duel, which I do play also quite a bit more. Not as much as Gwen, but you know, quite a bit. Uh, you don't have those systems. You have your one normal summon per turn, which is sure your resource, and then just cards, and cards are worth a ton. And then in Gwent, you got the provision system, right? The provisions and cards. Provisions are worth a lot, and this is where I'm getting to, is unlike those games, when we have Arena Draft here, if you look at Draft in like Hearthstone or Elder Scrolls Legends or something, you still have to pay mana and like manage your cards that way. In Gwent, here's here's my issue with Arena, or Draft, whatever. It takes away the provisions aspect of the game almost completely. Well, it, it just takes away the provision aspect, unless you're, like, playing Vivian Oracle. So, the provision aspect of the game gets taken away, which I think is the biggest problem for the Draft. Because it makes everything so much different than the regular game. Like, you, you saw we're running, like, 20 gold cards out of 24 cards. So, the only thing that really matters is the value of your cards... And the only ma the resource that only matters is then card advantage. Kind of like in Yu-Gi-Oh! in a lot of ways. But when you only have card advantage mattering, I think it takes away a lot. And I think that's what people might not like about it. 
And the other thing is if you're really good at Gwent, unlike me, because I'm not that great, to be honest, if you're really good, a lot of how you win comes from knowing what your opponent's going to do so you can use that knowledge base and that skill set to win the game, right? Like, if I know my opponent's playing 36 card Colgrim, I know that if I win round one, my opponent is forced to play the Colgrim round two, and they do not have a way to play it again, and their entire deck ceases to function, and I win. Stuff like that, right? If you know the opponent plays, you can counterplay it. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen in these games. Like, the guy drops, like, we had, what, three people three people in the row play Beauclair, and then two guys have double Zoltan Warriors. I had two Arna Gods, which, to be fair, is also funny. But, like, you don't know what's going to happen. And it takes away a lot of the predictive skill set, I think, for how the game functions. So, obviously, there's still things. Like, we know how to manage rounds. We know what round advantage could be worth. We know that where we can pass or not. But the thing is, not knowing what the opponent's playing, not knowing what they're playing, not knowing what they can synergize with, and then also not having access to the provision system for the balancing of the game, I just think takes away a lot from the draft mode. That's just my opinion. I think that might be it. That's my issue with it. I still think it's fun, like, to try every now and then. But for me, that's why I don't, like, regularly play it. Whereas when the Elder Scrolls Legends, for example, where I do play their arena draft a lot, still you still have to manage the provisions of the... Or not the provisions, the uh, mana of the cards in your deck. And that makes it more interesting to me, whereas you get to see all the cards you wouldn't normally play and try and make a deck with them. Whereas here, I think it's not quite as interesting. But, you know, that's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you think. Most of you probably skipped this part anyway. If you didn't skip this part and listen to this, just let me just uh, leave a little comment saying something. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I still think it was fun to try out. And I do think I'll play it occasionally still, but to me, it's not as interesting as the other draft modes, which is a little unfortunate. But it is what it is. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more, and you can check out some more videos over here, and thanks for watching.